what a start. So it's early spring, March afternoon. You just get off work, get out of school, and you want to go catch some fish. But you don't have all your fishing gear set up. Maybe your line's all wore out, and you just you're just ready to go get to the creek or the somewhere and just start pulling in some fish. This is what you do. Stop by Walmart and buy you a Zebco 33. Just purchase this one. Uh, I think it was twenty dollars. Comes with ten pound red line. Just some decent model line. Zebco 33 is a great little reels. Looks like it's about a five and a half foot pole. This will work great. And you also need to get some night crawlers or red worms, whichever ones you want to get. I like getting these night crawlers in the styrofoam cases because uh, they last a lot longer. And we'll grab some number, uh, looks like number two panfish hooks, wire panfish hooks, 88 cents for those. I think it's like $3 for that, $20 for the rod, 25 bucks. I'm ready to catch some fish. I got my hook tied on. I got just a split shot about six to eight inches above it. I got a piece of a night crawler that I pinched in half, just gonna slide it on the hook. I'm just sitting here on the bank of a creek that runs through town. There's several spots you can access it. This one's, there's a parking lot right beside it, so it's easy to get to. Looks like people come down here and fish, so maybe some. I'm just gonna throw it out on the bottom. Not gonna use a bobber. Reel my line up tight and um, wait for a tug. Good fish, what is this? First bite I've got. Oh my goodness, look at that drum. Oh. <laughs> Dude, that is awesome. I did not expect this thing. That's crazy. Oh, drum are so weird, but got him right in the lip. Yeah, how'd you like to catch that? Man, thing probably weighs two pounds at least. Got him right in the lip, picked up that night crawler. Been here, I've had the video camera recording six minutes. I got first bite, he tugged, then he tugged, I kind of waited for it. Just um, held on for a little bit, waited for him to start pulling on it, pulled it off. <laughs> oh, that's fun. And man, those things when they hit, they like keep their head down, you don't know what's on there. All right, let's throw that guy back in. Maybe we'll, hopefully we'll get some more. Got a crappie off the bottom, just uh, on the night crawler. Not very big, but it's a good little catch. It's been a few. It's been uh, about 15 minutes since I caught that last fish. I finally caught something else, so I'm gonna stay at this spot for just a little while longer. And I'm, if I don't get anything, I'm gonna move downstream. Get a few bites over here. It's a little bluegill. That sun's going down, they're starting to get active. Just another little bluegill. Nothing to speak of yet, but we're working our way up. Oh, there we go, getting a little bigger. Alright, now that's a good bluegill there. That's what I've caught out of this creek before. I've caught some nice, uh, Nice size one. That's a that's a fun one to catch there. Yeah, that's a good size one when you can barely get your hand around it. Oh, I was reeling it in and caught one. 
and new species for the day. Wow, didn't expect to catch a bass. I was just reeling it up, and because uh, I hadn't had a bite for a little while, got a little bass. It's a little largemouth bass. Maybe some, maybe partly crossbreed or something. It's got red eyes. There's a lot of coosa bass, and um, I think there's spotted bass in this creek too. But that's, you know, that's a fun little catch. You catch those off night crawlers too. Usually you don't think about catching bass, but they do. Well, that's it. I'm heading home. I've been out here a couple hours uh, fishing in this creek, a few different spots. Zebco 33, and the worms didn't let me down. I had an awesome uh, first catch, the drum. Um, crappie, bass, bluegill, um, caught several fish. It wasn't as fast as I'd like it. Uh, there was a couple times I spent 20 minutes not catching anything, 20, 30 minutes. Um, sometimes it can be real active, and especially when it gets hotter, I'll come back and um, try to fish this again. But um, if you don't have a Zepco 33 or just a simple push button rod and reel, and you never used one, never gone down the creek and just sat there and fished, you need to give it a try. It's definitely a good way to catch some fish.